Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Hulk and it's been already more than a week since Zendika Rising release, but Wizard of the Coast decided already to announce on September 28 some banned and restricted list updates. In the meantime, on MTG Goldfish, the metagame showed us four color Omnath dominating the presence with some really nice ramping interaction between Lotus Cobra plus Euro and Omnath itself. Maybe one of these three cards will be get snapped by the inevitable? We will see that, but I can assure you that this week was pretty awful, for me at least, on the ladder against this deck. Especially because I wanted to start where I left before rotation, with my white weenie deck. At first I was very intrigued by Archpriest of Yona, but considering that there is no rogue in white, I would not have been able to have a full party so even with Sinner's Aloe Blade and Drainit Magistrate from the sideboard, it wouldn't be in a present to rely on. So I replaced it with Palisade of Life's Bounty in order to gain some life gain and protect one of my most valuable creature and enchantment that we will see further on. Unremovable from the list is Giant Killer awesome to kill something like Omnath, for example, and stop any attack from a big creature, like Uro, and return with his activate ability. Selfless Savior is the third one drop that also have the honor to protect one of our special creature of the deck that in some cases could be either Ashbringer that stop one of the numerous enter the battlefield or die effect of creatures that many decks rely on, but be aware that this might turn into a double-edged sword against Uro. Luminarch Aspirant is a very powerful new entry from Zendikar Rising, especially when you start putting plus one plus one counters on something indestructible like Season Alloblade that gets pumped also by our Heraldic Banner an artifact that gives plus one attack to all the white creatures we have, unless we choose another color, and helps to ramp as well, giving an additional mana each turn. Or Glorious Anthem, that also gives plus one plus one to all our creatures. Like the tokens we can create with the minus two Basri cast ability, that remember can give also a plus one plus one counter to a creature and make it indestructible until end of turn. Elspeth's Nemesis is another excellent token creator that can also escape, very useful against a mill deck for example. You may also see me playing Mall of Skycliff that I replace with Elspeth, but I never had the opportunity to test it properly, so I came back to the original deck. Maybe I will give it a, a go again, this time replacing it with Glory Zen 10, but I'll keep you posted. For what concern lands, we have a full castle Ardenwall, 14 planes, and 4 Sagiri Shelter, a model double face instant that gives protection to a creature from a color of our choice, and also a tapped land. And finally, we talk about the sideboard. It is made only to fight the 4 color Omnath deck that I was struggling to win against, basically. With Drowned Magistrate to stop adventure cards, Euro from Graveyard, Escaped to the Wild, etc. Glass Casket to stop Lotus Cobra and some other small creatures. That I prefer to Skycliff Apparition just because I play as Bringer, remember? And I also think that there are more creature removal than artifact removal usually. For everything else, there is Banishing Light. Last but not least, Archon of Emeria, an amazing creature that simply slows down any ramp deck, making enemy non-basic lands enter the battlefield tapped and deny anyone to play more than one spell each turn. Well now, I think it's enough to your crafting, let's jump into some gameplay and see how it goes. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy the video and the music and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!
Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for now. Have a nice game.